Delmay Ryan has the bruises and the bite marks to help tell the story of her dash home to Brisbane after being bitten by a pit viper snake in Nepal. I just felt like a smack on my leg, like a hard hit and pain, and all I could see was two red blood spots. After deciding not to stay at the local hospital, Delmay risked the 48-hour trip home despite being told her blood was not clotting. And I was sort of freaking out, thinking, hang on, this is me, I might die. But, um, you know, it was just like, I didn't really want to be there either because it was the same, the hygiene was just shocking and I couldn't use the bathrooms or anything. She got clearance to fly. Basically, they had to write that there is no anti-venom in the whole country. More blood tests in Brisbane confirmed doctors' worst fears. Dalmay's blood was not clotting. I knew I was a bit flat. I was feeling a bit bruised, I guess, like, you know, tender. I guess because of the fact that my blood was so thin, I was starting to bruise. She may have fallen over, hit her head um, and potentially suffered a, a life-threatening hemorrhage in her brain. After determining the snake was an Asian pit viper, Dr Colin Page made up to 100 calls to find the antivenom, eventually tracking some down in a research lab at Monash University. Whether we were going to find any antivenom, we really weren't too sure. And to be honest, I was more pessimistic than optimistic. But to be told that there's no antivenom in the country, um, it was a bit scary. The antivenom worked immediately. Delmay is expected to make a full recovery. I feel very lucky, very, very lucky, because, you know, I mean, if there's not someone passionate enough to fight for your cause, I don't know. I don't know where I'd be.